Okay. Uh, okay. Now is the we already done with the hand setup. So the next thing is to create the what we call it uh, finger control for the hand. Uh, we're gonna use the what we, uh, the term the technique in Maya is called set driven key. Okay. So I just gonna. First, before we can create the set driven key, set driven key, we need to create an attribute for in the risk control over here. Attribute so that we will be able to control the the finger uh, using the attribute over here. So that it's gonna look like this. Okay, for example, this hand we have index curl. So we can simply move the curl over here. Okay. So we're gonna do the same setup to the hand over here. So let's say we want to f uh, add attribute. Simply just click edit. Select the controller first. Click edit and click add attribute. For the finger, we're gonna use the float. Okay, since we already have the index curl and media curl over here, because we duplicate from the the other hand, the the other hand's controller, so they come up with the attribute. So you just need to create the attribute uh, for the ring finger. Say ring underscore curl okay we're gonna use the float data the type is scalar scala and the minimum number I just set it to negative 10 maximum is 10 and default default will be obviously zero okay and click add so you will add the the new attribute called ring curl okay just click close for now and before we can continue with the with the set driven key we need to check the rotation of the of the finger first okay we we'll select the finger manually one by one so I'm gonna just uh, scale down the display of the joint size to so that you can see it clearer okay this should be okay okay we just select the join one by one and hit e for rotation you can see the the rotation the rotate z will be slightly off and not not on the direction that i want so what i'm gonna do i just have to to fix uh, the rotation direction of here so what we're gonna do I just have to uh, hit the F8 button to activate the uh, component mode in this case I think yeah. Just or you can just simply click here, F8 button, to the component mode, and something's not here. Yeah okay. So just click on the question mark icon over here. Okay. So it will can see the direction of the the the, the joint then simply simply click on it 
and rotate so you get to your preferences so as for me I'm gonna make it here and set it here okay once you're done with it just click back on the this icon over here uh, select the object by type or, or simply hit F8 button again and now the rotation should be okay simply click on the select the join manually one by one and hit the E button so you can see the if I rotate on the Z axis uh, the rotation should be the way that I wanted yep seems okay Now we're gonna we can proceed with the set driven key. To proceed with the set driven key, first we just go to the animate uh, set driven key and go to set. And it, the the empty box or empty window will appear. So you just need to load the driver. In this case, the driver will be the controller, the hand controller, right, right wrist control, and load driver. Okay. And then we need to load the driven, the one that being drive or driven, uh, being control. Select the join one by one manually, and load driven. So. You just have to select it again one by one, and the attribute value will appear. So we need to set a condition. Driven key allow you to set a condition. So let's say in the first condition, say when the index curl, when the ring curl is zero, the the rotation of the ring will be like as you see, as you see uh, on the screen. So meaning, I will the attribute that involved in this set driven key is right wrist control and the wrinkle, which is you're gonna animate the wrinkle attribute. So when the wrinkle is zero, all the rotation for the ring, rotation Z, rotation Z for all the ring, one, ring two, ring three, and four, would be on this amount of value. So we just gonna have to hit the key button so we have set the, the the first condition and then you're gonna set the second condition where is the ring curl is 10 hit 10 enter select all the ring button and rotation Z and just animate the attribute here click on the rotate Z and middle click on the screen to rotate Z button simply middle click and set the condition make it a little slightly extreme slightly should be okay here so when the wrinkle I'll show you again when the wrinkle is on value 10 all the ring Rotation Z value is here, blah blah, right? So we just we just have to select again all the attribute involved and hit key. Now that we have key two condition, so we can see if we select the wrinkle, sorry, right wrist control, and we play with the wrinkle attribute. Uh, we should be able to animate it see when the position is zero the wrinkle will be on normal and when it's 10 it will roll 
and curl so that's it we need to set another condition whereas the wrinkle is on negative 10 the rotation z of the finger of the ring finger will curl slightly up you can make it a bit extreme because animation is all about exaggeration okay yeah that should be that should be say all right okay so before we can set it into the condition which is by keying the condition we need to select back the attribute involved this is right wrist control and wrinkle and select all the join and the value the attribute which is rotate z and hit key okay now if we go to the wrist control you can see that we'll be able to move the ring finger see you can see over here so now you can close this see that when we set the ring curl into negative 10 the, the joint will curl slightly up and when it, when it hit zero it will be on normal position which is the default position and when it hit 10 it will curl down so we're done with the set ribbon key for the finger uh, you can repeat all the same process to all the finger and bear in mind uh, it won't also only work uh, sorry it can work also in uh, not only rotation z but you can also set the driven key to the rotation uh, y for example so that the finger can move like this and also if you prefer rotation x also so that you can have a more control on the finger you just have to add the attribute first and ensure that the direction of the rotation of the every joint is as like you wanted uh, sorry as like you want and and then just set the ribbon key and then you you good to go okay uh that's for the set ribbon key that's it